Good afternoon and welcome to Extended Day Class. This is Mr. Rodriguez and today I will be lecturing on oceanography. First, uh, let me start by giving you the definition of oceanography. Oceanography is a study of a science that draws on the methods and knowledge of geology, chemistry, physics, and biology. And this is to study the many complexities and aspects and interrelationships of the world ocean. Do you know what the uh, what an ocean is? Well, if you've gone to the beach, you've had the privilege of seeing an ocean. An ocean is a body of saline water or salt water that composes much of our planet's hydrosphere. To clarify that, what hydrosphere is, it's all of the waters on the Earth's surface, and all the waters in the Earth can be found in lakes, rivers, seas, our oceans, and this also includes water all over the Earth's surface, and this part of the surface is clouds, so water is in, can be found in clouds. Ocean fat. Um, the ocean contains 90% of the Earth's water, as we've stated, and it has less than 5% of our ocean has been explored. Can you imagine how much more ocean life is left to discover? Also, the total volume of water on Earth is estimated at 320 billion cubic miles with an average depth of a little over 12,000 feet. You know, this is amazing because the deepest part of the ocean is a little over two miles below sea level. And another fact is that um, saline water, or as we've learned, salt water, covers approximately 139 million square miles, and it's divided into several principal oceans. Uh, it's divided into smaller seas and even smaller by our rivers and lakes. The world ocean. We know that as I stated that it's interconnected and it's compromised of a box of hydrosphere and the volume is roughly 320 million cubic miles and this is just to reinforce what we just discussed. Can you name the oceans? Uh, the earth has several of them actually and they are the Atlantic, the Arctic, the Indian, the Southern and the Pacific Oceans and we happen to live near the Pacific Ocean that is just west of us. Okay, when we return to class tomorrow, we will touch and discuss on several ocean terms and together we will be uh, learn their meanings. So read the terms that I have, you know, enclosed and enclosed on this slide. Um, because one of the assignments that is due for tomorrow will be for you to look up the words and write down their definitions. Okay, remember to um, have them ready and they're going to be due by the end of the week. So why is the ocean important? It's very important because the air we breathe is 50 percent, you know, produced by the ocean. It uh, has climate regulation, you know, tra the ocean transport heat, transports heat um, from the equator to the poles and it regulates the climate and its weather pat patterns. It's used for recreational purposes. It's also used for medicinal purposes. A lot of our, the ingredients that are found in the ocean help fight cancer, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, and some of our heart diseases. And next you'll see that there is a bonus assignment when you click on any one of these oceans, wherever you'd have to click on every ocean to complete the assignment, but you need to write down the names of the oceans in chronological order 
from biggest to smallest and you're going to also have to include the size and depth of the oceans in your answer for 10 extra points okay guys um as you see here there's a oceanography class template that you can take notes on on important key points and details and also write down the questions you may have for me you may want to use this template to help you with a short summary and what you have learned you can write onto it and this will be due at the end of the week um, here's a few fun facts I don't know if you knew that the Pacific Ocean's name was an original meaning of a peaceful island um, another fact, fun fact is that um, the Pacific Ocean contains around 25,000 different islands and many more are found over the Earth's uh, oceans. The Pacific Ocean is surrounded by a, the Pacific Ring of Fire or a large number of active volcanoes. That is a fun fact. This concludes today's extended day class. I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Remember, as you view this short video, you are one step ahead of the others. Um, remember your, to bring your uh, class assignments and be ready to ready and prepared to learn. Uh, good night and see you tomorrow.